public library, which is the one downtown, uh, right by Nordstrom's. I don't shop there, but I think people do. Uh, they make a lot of money. Um, and I went in, I was looking at the VHSs, and you probably all know what VHSs are, but a lot of times I say that, and people are like, what's a VHS? It's an STD or something. <laughs> I'm like, sounds like a DVD, but bigger. <laughs> Brainier. Um, so I'm looking through the VHSs, and there's this like VHS that's like, how to be a writer. And I was like, I'd like to be a writer. So and I check it out, and I get it home, and my roommates aren't home, so I'm like, Finally, time to watch the movie. <laughs> so I put it in, and it's like it's like made in the seventies. So it's uh like the seventies computer comes up, you know, like the green font and then the like keyboard that's attached to it, and like it's like two hands show up and start typing, you know, and then like the you know the seventies music comes in like, and then this, this voice comes in, it's ridiculous. But I'm watching it, you know, it's like, excuse me, young person, do you have what it takes to be a writer? You find yourself noticing things like birds and flowers. <laughs> you have nine different words for a woman's eyes. <laughs> Do you count syllables in everyday speech? No, 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 no! This is not iambic pentameter, this is not a sonic or haiku. These words will not leave you, whether it's a tapestry or a paint you or Mona Lisa. They will construct a rickety bridge from my synaptic gap to yours, and on this garbled kindergarten masterpiece of Picasso's abstractivism, we will be halfway to curse precariously above the crashing tumult of our waterfall egos, and if we're doing this correctly, we won't count a syllable. I'm a train hopping transient who sees neckties and button tees as war fatigue. A shared birthday is the only thing Robert Frost ever had on me. Do you think I care what you want? <laughs> because I've been writing poetry since the first day I pulled change from my heart to help someone beat. And my words uh -huh. are like wedding rings taken off in strip clubs. You'll never catch up to the guilt I've melted and forged with iron ore hammering out plate metal that rests over my chest. And I'm not Shakespeare, but I exhale last lustful tragedy when I'm not completely having my heart broken. I can walk along your hairline bare, go leaving toe prints where your thoughts used to be. Well, see, my words be through sewers, peeling paint off the pavement. I was raised on a motherfucker that took too long to mm -hmm. get my heart to the clean on the floorboards. My feet move in the form of windows, the beats that aren't dead yet. I won't let my wrist hang over the crossbar of a life sentence. They're too free. Writing about backfire cars going in the wrong direction and sitting atop Hollywood signs. Above dreams, you rule too afraid to manifest into talent. These knuckles, we great guy in perfection. I've been the hailstorm of broken metaphors and something with stanza. Is your heart big enough to spout fountains, soaking the world in blank love, waiting to be colored in hope. How many souls can your wrists hold? Wrists that sculpt dreams that a modelized world can spin through and roll back to heaven, held up with stilts made of driftwood. Can you unweave tapestries just to tie thread together and escape like bed sheets that will last? White sheet ghosts escape from my fingertips, reminding me of the nightmares that seep from my pen. And my nightmares will creep from ink to this microphone, pouring over the loudspeaker, scaring your dreams away until, until sleeping is no longer an option. It's okay. I try to chase the terror from my bedpost at times too, and I can see you. Sleepless princess, tossing and turning, tossing and turning, praying that a comforter covering your face on the cold side of a king size mattress can keep the nightmares from catching you, blinking yourself to sleep. That's why I pick my words apart. And when you close your eyes, like dissect the word poetry, you rearrange the letters out of order on the dream catcher you made from the fragmented sheets that couldn't keep the shadow form poltergeist in the closet. I keep my words open, stack the letters together to scare you away. Away I go from these lights that lead dark tunnels of salvation, following the breathless holes with no bottom. I catch my ribcage on cobwebs and broken branches. The only thing that fills these pupils is full moon loneliness brought on by hurricane gusts transformed into Kansas City tornadoes filled with lust, drenched in white to get back. Romances. It has been proven that these feelings can be taken from you. Gone with the wind, so in class, these bullets chains, and let my spirit carry cotton cloud happiness atop my translucent chest, full of unclaimed emotions. Get rid 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 of unclaimed emotions. We walk these streets as knowing yours. Home we will never finish. Thank you. Thank you.